Hey everyone, it's me Ryan from the Morphin Network. We're here at Porn Morphicon 2022 with the green Mystic Force Ranger himself, Richard Brunkitisano. What's up, Richard? Hey, how are you, mate? Good to see you. I'm doing good, man. It's good seeing you again. Great to see you, too. Yeah, so how are you doing this convention in so person. far? In person. Yeah. In person, that's Someone's right. Very personal. Yes. Yeah. So how are you doing this convention so far? I'm loving it. It's been amazing to be back here. And I haven't been to back in LA for, what, maybe three years? So that's the reason I came here, and I'm loving the heat. I'm, uh, I, don't know, I mean, it's winter in Australia right now, so the, the heat is good, and the fans are even better. <laughs> it's so cool. I love this. Yeah. Excellent. So, of course, now Chris Graham is, back, is here, Lee and Bo. So, hey, yeah, 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 did you guys catch up? Did you guys catch up with anything and talk about? Well, the first day, we didn't even get to say hello because it was so busy, which was great. We were so busy meeting everyone. Um, and then today we've just had a chance, we pulled our chairs together and um, just been sitting there talking to each other for the last hour, catching up and it's been really nice. I haven't seen Chris since we shot, so I don't know how many years ago that was, but it's nearly, it's nearly 20 years, close, maybe 17 years since we saw each other. He looks exactly the same. He's aged very well. Yes. Hey, I asked about this, so when you got the role of Xander, like, did you expect him to be this, like sarcastic and like very feel like hands-free but also kind and hearted and basically like, I don't know it's like a lot of fans are saying that you were like like the elderly brotherly role oh. yeah that's why I've been hearing from a lot of fans so like when you got the role for Xander like what was your reaction to finding out what your character was in the script well when I auditioned for it we did two scenes and I kind of got the gist of the character being a bit of a smart ass you know yeah. like you know, with, I had to do Plan Xander in the script, and um, but that was all I all I had. So it wasn't until we started getting the scripts and scripts and scripts, and I'm like, and they fleshed out the character where we, you could really see his journey and how much, you know, um, how much learning he had to do, you know, um, with petrified Xander and whatnot. But also the uh, comfort that, that he gave Nick, you know, um, f when he felt like he wasn't fitting in. You know, and, and letting him know that it's okay where he's family, and um, and I think that was a really nice scene, and and you know that came from a deep place in myself as well. So there's a, there were a lot of scenes where I felt like it was, it was coming from me. Yeah. What's cool about your Green Ranger is like you actually like green element green like grass. It's kind of cool. Like you know, plus the t-shirt's cool. You want my t-shirt? Yeah. Carson's corner. Carson's corner. Yeah. Oh hey, Michael. Thank you. Shout I wear it all the time. And I'm bringing the hoodie tomorrow. You like your t-shirt, bro? I wear it. I wear it when I go on walks around my house. I wear it when I go out. <laughs> and I feel sometimes I feel a bit weird wearing my own Power Ranger thing. But I don't, you know, I'm like, I, I don't care. I love it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's great. Yes. So I want to ask you this. What was your favorite episode to film in Mystic Horse? I would say Petrified Xander, but that was a lot with the makeup. Um, but I'd have to say the one with the giant, um, where I saved the day and was bringing the giant food and stuff, that was fun because we were using all sorts of um, tricks, camera tricks, to, to make, the giant was, he's, he was already big, but we were, we needed to, you know, manipulate it by shooting me super close to the lens, you know, him far away or the opposite and making it, you know what I mean? Like all these amazing tricks that, I don't know, I found it really interesting in terms of um, production. Yeah. Yeah. What's funny is like your season, because of course there's a Saban season, the Saban era, Disney era, and then old new Saban and then Hasbro. Your season, is, I'm not being biased, you guys were my favorite Disney season because I love Harry really? Potter and I love magic. So I was like, oh yes, Power Rangers doing magic and yeah. capes. Yeah. So how does it feel that knowing that your team is the only one that has capes? <laughs> Feels awesome. <laughs> we're unique. I often say it's the more unique something is, um, the more polarizing it is, but the people who l like it, love it. And that's what I love about Mystic Force is that everyone who talks about it says, like, it means a lot to them, you know? And, and I think that's a good, it's kind of a good understanding to have of things in life and of yourself, you know? Like, it's okay to be unique because then when someone likes you, they really, really like you, you know what I mean? And you know it. So I think, yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. So, of course, you guys don't know, this guy is a very great musician. I heard him play his guitar online. 
So how's uh, the music uh, um, music career going? It's going okay. I'm, I'm still working on some of my stuff. I've, I've written a lot of songs over the last 10 years and I'm happy with them. Um, but at the moment I'm just training my voice up to get it to a point where I feel like it's good enough to record them and play them live. Um, and it's a process, but I'm working on it and I'm getting there. And hopefully one day I'll have three, four, five albums out of songs about heartbreak and love, <laughs> which is kind of what I do. Oh, so you are a good singer. Oh, so thanks. put you on spot for the no, fans. No, Can you do it? No, I cannot. I cannot do it. I just told you I'm working on it. <laughs> working eyes. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I can't. Um, I wish I could though. One day. Is that a little verse, a little verse? No, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's a no-go zone. <laughs> but anyway, so before we leave, uh, do you have any upcoming like um, gigs or upcoming like projects that you guys share with your fans? I got a, a film called Carmen coming out, which I play a small role in, but which is a pretty cool film. I think that's uh, premiering at the Toronto Film Festival. Um, and a, sh a couple of shows out in Sydney at the moment, one called After the Verdict and The Twelve, um, which are both two really fun shows that I worked on. So. Yeah, and I just gig around, follow my Instagram, Bitchy Ranko. <laughs> Bitchy Ranko, which is Richie Branco, but as you can, you know, to, to, you know, you know what happened. Um, and and if you yeah, if you like my music, that's where you'll see updates about it. Oh, and my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Excellent. Thank you, man. Yes. Again, guys, you look at our old interviews, he's a great guitarist. Just let you guys know. Oh, that's very sweet. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, so, final request. Can you say something what Xander would say? To something. Oh. Like, to, to the fans. Guys, don't worry. Xander's here. I'm going to give you a bit of plan, Xander. All right? What is that plan? Uh, I don't know. I just, I'm full of crap. So, I just, <laughs> I just make it up on the spot. That's typical him, right? Yeah, that's plan, Xander. Yeah. He, like he's one. got a plan, but it's not really a plan. His plan is just to kind of calm the situation down and... But it just doesn't work. And it's not working now, so I'm sorry about that. All right, All right guys, so Richard, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right, this is Ryan from Morphin Network, and this is the green Mr. Course Ranger himself. Richie Brancatasano. Is that what I was meant to do? Yeah. Is that right? Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. You're a legend. All right, guys, see you guys. Bye.